Hello everybody, thank you for joining me. This is GGF bringing you episode 6 of Let's Play Himeko Sutori by Rockwell Studios. Hope you guys are doing well and ready to check out some more Himeko. We had some success last episode fighting bandits actually. And uh, this time we're probably going to maybe get a few new pieces of gear depending how close we are to town. And, um... Yeah, we'll see. So which save game was it exactly? Game 5? No, game 6. Should have been 5, though. Alright, so... Let's see, we've got a wolf pack right here. Um, let's make sure we're... Yep, Berserker, Berserker. Um, we've got some naked Berserkers and stuff. Uh, I guess we can handle a wolf pack on the way back to town to get some armor and stuff. They're not going to give us any money necessarily, but we'll get um the XP and everything. So let's see what we've got here. We've got a 223, a 348 range, and a 359 melee. Put them there, put you guys here, put you guys here, and I'll uh, start the battle. Let's see what we're up against. Looks like there's a chest up there. It would be nice to grab. Oh, there's pumpkin heads. And there's one unit. There's two units, and there's a fairy. There's three units. Alright, well, let's see what we can do here. Um, just move up one, just move up one, just move up one, and hold, we'll end turn, early, let them come to us, mmm, okay, again we've got a naked barbarian or two, if they get hit it might cause some trouble, Oh, there's a repost. Or a repost. I call it repost. I think it's repost, though. Um, let's send you guys up to get some XP. Dodged. Oh, they don't even have weapons. Some of the, the naked folks. Um, who is this? You guys can finish the job. Tattered Ear was defeated. You guys maybe come up here and grab that strategic post. Let's end the turn. Wow, dazed them. Got some magic off. Mmm. Healing burst. Well, it looks like the reaction was. <clears throat> okay, very good. Um, they can actually get up there and get that treasure. So I'm going to send them, well... See, I don't trust this unit, but with this unit... They should be okay. Uh, do I go for the treasure? Yeah, I guess I do. Oh, we hit the, the strategic point. I guess that counts. You guys move back one and ranged these guys. If we could take them out. Ooh, nice. <coughs> ranged and stuff. Yeah, this is working nicely. Hopefully we can kill them here. Nice. That one's attacking without a weapon. Okay, very good. They're coming down. We're heading up for this treasure. Um, you guys... Can maybe come here. Oh wait, you're a different- you're the wrong lands. Oops. 
You're the ranged lance, my bad. Um, go ahead and... Nice. The hope only of empty men. This is the way the world ends. You guys get back up there and kill here. Perfect. All right, we're gonna get ourselves a treasure chest. They're running. Let's grab this chest. What does it got? A Druidry Ritual Mountain Soul. Interesting, so we can make a Mountain Soul at some point, whenever that may be. Um, let's fire away here. Not that final meeting in the Twilight Kingdom. You guys go ahead and chase after them. Uh, stay and fight. Okay, you guys don't need to move anymore. Um, you guys can attack here. There's a hit. Success. Pretty simply done. A wooden carving. Hmm, whatever that is. Maybe a sellable item. Uh, we'll see who leveled up and stuff once we get back to town. We don't have that much money to buy equipment. But I guess we can buy something. Um, from Frang. Whoops, I was hitting E. Um, spacebar. Let's see. Fitting room. Um... You have no armor. And there's nothing we can get you for a flame touch. You have to be naked. Uh, Salim does not have to be naked. We can at least get him a leather jerkin, it looks like. Oh, the swear boulet. He does clever strike as a rogue. So, honestly, this gives him 30 more dodge, which is huge. 60 compared to 30. But, um, I think he'll be fine with the leather jerkin for now. Or 650 only for that. Let's go ahead and grab that. It's worth it. Then we've got Hamid without a weapon. Does anybody have specializations that we need to worry about? Sword, she's got a sword. Bow, she's got a bow. Go. Get going. Get going. Go. Sorry, guys. Talking to my dog. I have to scoot him out here. You have dagger specialization. You have axe specialization. So... You have no weapon. Um... Would you be able to get hammer specialization? Let me check something for a second. Uh, Hamid. <clears throat> you have axe specialization. Okay, that's it. Heavy weaponry. Oh, one hand and two hand specialization. But those must be the rare cards in Berserker. Okay. So... We can get you a much better axe. That's way more expensive, though. I don't want to spend that kind of money right now. We can get you something. Um, we're going to have to fight bandits after this to make some money. Uh, could get you a claymore. It gives you blue, though, and takes your block down from the buckler. Oh, I'd love to give you a Beck de Corbin. Um, I don't know, would I be crazy to... Oh, you need armor, too. Would I be crazy to get him a sledge? It gives him white, but he's not into white. So this is more a weapon of paladin, but berserkers can use it. Zweihander. Even more raw. Adds 8 block, but... 
and seven more attack. How about an obsidian axe? <clears throat> Green, red, and black, which is good. Eight critical hit, 43 attack. Um, and we could just get him a hand axe or a claymore. Let's see what we can sell, actually. Adventuring clothes. We could probably get rid of those, right? Adventure, warrior, grifter, forester. We don't need five of them. We can sell two, three of them. We have an alchemist item. Arming swords. Um, five in inventory. We could probably sell a couple of those. So we have, ooh, at 684. We have a ton of money in sales here. If we were to make these sales. Um, student spellbook for mage. Short bow at 703 per. Um, we could sell one. So we're right up to the 4K. We go to buy our fitting room. Let's see what we can do here. So now you can get, you know, the best of the best, really. Um, she has an axe specialization. So maybe we should go the whole Monty and get the, the double axe. Gives her two more red. 14 critical hit, 135. Yeah, I think that's the way to go. Obsidian axe is one-handed, but... Uh, it's not bad. 8 critical hit, but this is 14 critical hit. Pretty wicked. Um, sure, let's do it. <laughs> Boom, son. What about armor? Oh, Nomad Wrappings or Malabis Bedoui. Bedoui. Let's get the Malabis Bedoui. And she is one hooked up berserker. But we don't have enough right now to do it for him. Let's give him the Malabis Bedoui. <clears throat> I don't see any benefit to the other one, really. It's just lesser. And you're going to have maybe a one-handed specialization. Is a sledge two-handed hammer. Battle axe is two-handed axe. Uh, we'd have to get rid of the buckler. Um, what does white do again? Reduces dam damage of incoming attacks. So that's what the Beck de Corbin would do. Um, <clears throat> let's go ahead and sell right now. Let's see, Corrosive Slime, 1453 for that, wow. This powerful acid allows evolved slimes to kill much larger prey. Sell another arming sword. Sell maybe another short bow. Shepherd's Crooks are 741. Um, four weak acidic slimes. Slimes use this noxious secretion to kill and digest their prey. Let's sell one of them. And the waistcoat. <clears throat> Velvet robes for a warlock or warrior. Soldier's vest for a gunner. Medicinal ointments for student cleric and druid. Initiate wand for warlock and mage. Hunter vest for ranger and forester. Um, probably another arming sword, honestly. Well, hunter vest maybe. Ranger Forester, um... No, probably another Arming Sword. And another Adventuring Clothes. That's all I want to sell, so we're at 3300 we have to make this money last a bit. Um, let's go to the Fitting Room. <clears throat> so we've got you with Apprentice Robes. You actually give you Wizard Robes. But you're just a student right now, that's not really... advisable. You have a healing potion, which is good. Tinker, you have a mace. I would like to get you a warhammer instead. 
um, as they do have hammer specialization, but a mace is a hammer. This is just a better hammer, but it's 990. You have the apprentice apron. Could you get the chemist gear? <clears throat> then Kodaka is a paladin. The acolyte breastplate would, of course, be an upgrade. Quite a hefty one, in fact. Um, and then let's see. They've got hammer specialization, so he could actually use a sledge if he wanted to. Sledge has more white, less critical hit than the Warhammer, less attack power, but more white. And the Warhammer is actually cheaper. But the Bekte Corbin has 7 white, 12 critical hit. Oh my gosh, it's so wicked. Two handed hammer. Wait, you just have a medicinal ointment, Abdullah. So your Terra's Blessing is 90, which is pretty good. Forest Cloak. Do you still have no weapon, Hamid? Um, could equip a hand axe from the inventory just to get by for now. I think we'll do that. we put another dagger in the other hand I wonder it would raise it to 115 raises green black critical hit goes to 35 leadership goes up one oh my gosh block goes up three dodge goes up one mm. so I think our next move actually <laughs> would be to get righteous smite would be so much nicer with a with a sister sledge or a warhammer or a beck de corbin which is just wicked you know what son you just graduated <laughs> and do I get the Warhammer too from our tinker I believe we do boom 990 nice son and we'll sell um, moon cloth rags are for a mender we're not going to use mender again so we'll sell the moon cloth rags boom and we'll basically go and fight some uh, some enemies. Um, yeah, let's go. I love it. We are so deadly right now. I have never made this starting party this good in this game. Let's go ahead and level up while we're here. Yumi the Knight. Uh, let's see. She has sword specialization, repost, uh, blue, strength, blades. Yeah, let's see how we do. Let's level up. Uh, another reaction, repost. I don't know what would be the point of getting another one of those, except just to collect all the cards in the deck. There's two of these in the deck, I think. Um, let's go blue. Another sword specialization. Physical defense and block. Um, let's go block. And... I should go with might. The 25% of your physical attack bonus to all magical and ranged attacks. I guess that should say in your lance. Or with you as leader. Um... Increased melee attack power. The Yamatai way of the warrior teaches you should not have a favorite weapon. To become over familiar with one is as much a fault as not knowing it sufficiently well. Then there's blades. Um, 
Let's go with Might and see what happens. Alright, then we've got... She's looking good. We've got Emmy, whose attack is just ridiculous, 233. And her marksmanship isn't even that high. Green Druidry, increased Druidry cra crafting skill by one. Ranged attack, green. Um, let's go with green. With precision. With precision agility. Let's go with precision. 25%. Okay, and um, swiftness, increased movement speed. Let's go ranged attack. Okay, very good, very good. Kakiko is fine. Level up for Mistletoe. Very good. Um, see how she deals it out. Magic attack, reaction enraged, dodge. Um, I'm actually going to go dodge for her because she can't wear much armor. Spellcraft, spirit, magic attack. Um, let's go magic attack and then swiftness dodge and magical defense let's go dodge again give her dodge 125 very good I love this level up system it's so rewarding then we've got Abdal Hakim an illusionist who does starburst dazes everybody um He has surprise attack. Alright. Orb specialization. When wielding an orb. Reaction blind. Teaches your hero the reaction blind, which decreases the attack power of those who attack your allies. Yeah, I like that. Ambidextrous. Increase offhand attack bonus. The Nova Gore have a saying that the worst enemy is the friend who will shake your right hand and stab you with his left. Control and charisma. Uh, yeah, I mean, doesn't hurt to have an offhand bonus for some... At some point, and magical attack bonus to all melee and ranged attacks. Black charisma. Illusionists. Use charisma. Let's go charisma. Okay. And the waistcoat wouldn't... Well, you have a waistcoat. Alright, let's go. Still some characters we have to upgrade a bit more. Our Tinker, Kenichi. Um, do we have enough menders now, I wonder? Oh, I didn't see what Kenichi needed. Clerics and gunners. Leadership. Reaction first aid. Let's do that. Reaction first aid. Will. Control. Alchemist. Unlocks the alchemist class. Bronze intellect control. Alchemist in the Festung de Monde are known for their sometimes elaborate experiments and their sometimes unexpected discoveries. Sure. And, oh, we have Gunner, too, or Increase Engineering Crafting Skill by one, or Intellect. Um, let's go Gunner, too. Unlocks the Gunner class, Bronze Will Marksmanship. Yamatai commanders either recognize the value of firearms in their army, or they love, lose to someone who does. Okay, so... If we were to change your class from Tinker... You still have Bronze Intellect, Will, Marksmanship, Control, Leadership, Two Engineering, and a Smithing. Um, alchemists study the composition and properties of the world to create powerful alchemical concoctions. In battle, alchemists throw their potions at close range to blast enemy lances. Three Bronze, three Intellect, three Control, two Slimologists, one Leadership, two Magical and Physical Defense, one Magic Attack, two Alchemy, one Permanence, one reaction first aid, one armorer, one creator, and one with precision. And then gunner. Gunner specialize in using firearms to snipe at their enemies from a distance. Bronze will marksmanship times three. Two ranged attack, one physical D. One leadership, dodge, keen strike, engineering. Two pistol specializations. Two long gun specializations. One reaction tactical shot. Two with precisions and one reaction first aid. Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna become a gunner, actually. Oh, and I just bought him that hammer. Oh, boy. He can at least wear the soldier's vest. Nobunaga. Do we have enough healers, is the question. You're a healer? He 
you're a rally or you do pain. Clever strike. You're an illusionist. Yeah, we're kind of running low. Terra's blessing. Healing action that heals targets, okay. Abdul the Druid is still healing, but he needs a healing potion rather than a medicinal ointment. Do we have a healing potion? No. He can also use a shepherd's crook. Oh, which would actually be an upgrade on his magical power. Oh, he loses 15 healing to gain 15 block, though. Um, so let's go with medicinal ointment. We've got Kodaka, Righteous Smite. Aimed shot for Kenichi. Nobunaga is still doing sa Sav. Um, and we don't know where he's going yet as a three student. Probably in the realm of healing we'll send him. So healing would be what? Cadet to get to Cleric? Yeah, probably... No, Acolyte. Acolyte. Um, but let's go ahead and... We have no gun or anything for him. And what about that hammer I just bought him? I have a Warhammer in the inventory. Or do I have a Beck to Corbin in the... Oh, no. I have a Warhammer. Who can use the Warhammer? Paladin. A Grifter, interestingly enough. A Warrior, a Tinker. Okay, so some people can use the Warhammer. Let's see who we want to give it to. Oh, we have nobody left. Our Grifters have turned into a Rogue and an Illusionist. We don't have a grifter left. Gunner can um Paladin can use it. Automaton. Uh I don't think we want to go paladin with him. We're gonna go acolyte with Nobunaga, so we have to make some changes. Spellcraft marksmanship healing. Let's go healing. Sorry if I'm sounding a little blo um stuffed up guys tinker controller acolyte let's go acolyte and let's go um i guess spellcraft and we'll switch him over to an acolyte to get him closer to cleric faithful prayer he can use student robes and a shepherd's crook i guess that'll do for now and the healing potion actually can go to upgrade Abdul the Druid. He can use the healing potion, which is nicer. You can't use an offhand one, right? Okay. Healing potion. Um, you need a gun. And I guess we just hang on to the Warhammer for now, or maybe sell it to um, afford a gun. Let's hit up Frank here. Okay, he can use... Wow. The Blunderbuss would be a long gun. Two bronze, 20 critical hit, 32 ranged power, and a multiplier of 1.08 for crit, I guess. You can use a crossbow, which adds 10 critical hit, 23 attack power. A dart thrower, which is unique to the gunner class, actually has melee power and ranged power. It's a pistol. Huh. 28 melee and ranged. And a uh, critical hit of only 5, though. And the flintlock. Ooh, same idea. 37 melee and ranged. And 11 critical. Whereas the blunderbuss has major critical and is a long gun. Um, I like him. Oh, sharpshooter's coat. Adds four bronze and some good defense. The flintlock. All right, let's go ahead and sell again. Ah. Uh,
Guess we'll sell a mace. We have two of them. Guess we'll sell a medicinal ointment. Guess we'll sell a student robes. I like the Warhammer, so I'll keep it for somebody. Um. Oops. Now let's go to the fitting room for you. Oh, you can actually use better Acolyte stuff, but it's not really necessary. Um, but we can get you, I think the Flintlock is the right move. Because then he's versatile, we can put him in melee, we can put him in ranged. <sighs> let's, um, yeah, let's try it. And uh, he could use a shield too. Let's get him a cheap little buckler. Takes his block up 31 though, it's pretty good. Alright, he's fine. Everybody else is pretty good to go. I mean, of course, we can upgrade in some places. Like Hamid. Oh, can Hamid use the, the Warhammer? No, he can't use the Warhammer. Dang, he can use a sledge, though. Go figure. And she's got the double axe. She's got the waistcoat. Yeah, there's definitely plenty of room to upgrade. All over the place, but... I mean, in terms of the base stuff, we're doing pretty darn good. Alright, that's going to be it for now. Let's go ahead and sell something, though, to get some medicinal ointment. And, uh... Mage Cadet Student and Apprentice Robes. And let's sell another Student Robes. That's it for now. We have 10-10. Now, what I want to do is go and hunt down some bandits to make some more florins. So let's head out and get it on. How long have we been playing? I'm not sure. Time goes super fast in this one. 32 minutes, wow. So it looks like we're not gonna be able to get into a, a battle probably. What is this? Wolf pack. I don't want the wolf pack. Oh, I can't see what's ahead or behind. Bandits. Okay, let's go fight these bandits really quick and see what happens. They're blocking the way to this town anyway, which we can check out next time. And what is this? A wolf pack. Okay. Uh, let's do it, dude. Let's do it. I'm gonna light a smoke, guys. Um, we can get a battle in here to end the episode. Let's see. Oh, I didn't do our our 400 melee, 256, 108, and 413. Um, yeah, that's about right, actually. Let's go. Um, okay. Uh, send you powerful guys. Um. Huh. If we don't get this spot, they're going to, so. We gotta step up and get it. <clears throat> These guys have a great ranged, um. come here we can't reach anybody so we'll just come here and these guys <clears throat> can come up and uh, come up here actually and let's see how it goes we can always try again if somebody dies block repost or repost but then a heal mm. it will take more than that to stop me Wow, still kicking, and they're ranged attacking. 
quit picking on me. They have three rangers. Oh. Catching some black in return. I think they took a flintlock shot. Critical hit. Ouch. Okay. You guys have 108 range, which is nice. Um, let's see. Let's see if you guys can wipe these punks out. You've not seen the last of me. Glenn. Ooh, critical hit for 177. Then 96. This ranged unit. can come here nicely and do a 413 ranged boom exit stage right daze them do a magic attack and this unit can come right here and uh attack from the side there's a shot doing all kinds of havoc wow not bad so far. I like this crew. I like the versatility of the ranged melee crew. They only have 108 range, but they're versatile. If they get attacked at range, they can fight back. Uh, is there a chest on this map? Mm -mm. Alright, you guys hunt down this crew. I'll race you. Can range them. Hit boom, take a flintlock pistol shot. Terra's blessing. Okay, this our ranged unit can shoot down this crew. Hmm. Dodged it, dang. Well, that's not the end of it. They get dazed. Oh, that hurt! <clears throat> These guys can just attack here, end it. Grrr. And let's go. They're dazed and confused. They're running. Let's come here and get them on the melee. Get some Terra's Blessing. A shot was blocked. Huh. This lance is going to come over here and finish this guy off next turn. And our ranged unit can at least come here and corner them in. That's it then. Dodge. Exit stage right. Boom, son. Love it. This you shall have of my hand. You shall lie down in sorrow. She wasn't lying, folks. Uh, 1740 florins and 6 a.m. A shepherd's crook. Beautiful. Next time we can fight the wolf pack and head into Ellis Mirror as well. Um, let's see who leveled up. We can do that next episode, which will be fun. Um, this is episode 6, I think, though, so gonna save here and say thank you for joining me i do hope you enjoyed i'm really loving what we're building here so far um i think we're gonna have enough healers because we have healer healer potential healer yeah healer and paladin does a little healing gunner does a little healing as a response as a um response tactic reaction so should be good, but um, hope to see you guys next time. Come on back for more. Would love to continue this journey with you guys. I'm having a blast. Hope you are too. Hope you're enjoying it. And thank you for watching. Appreciate you guys. Much love, peace, and joy. Catch you in the next one. More Himeko Sutori goodness. See you guys then. Bye-bye.